Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we're going to talk about using the arrow keys to move up and down, left and right, in your continuous forms, which I've talked about in previous videos. But in this one, we're going to talk about a special situation where you don't want that to happen if the user is down in the long text box in the form footer. So let me explain. Today's question comes from Dylan in Lombard, Illinois, one of my Platinum members. Dylan says, I've been using the technique you demonstrated in the extended cut of the move up, down using keyboard tech help video to move the focus in a continuous form using the arrow keys, and it works great. However, I have a text box in the footer where I display notes for the customer. If the note is multi-line and I click in that text box, Using the arrow keys moves me to the previous or next record, which is not what I want. Is there a way to tell Access not to process the arrow keys if I'm in that specific field? Yes, Dylan, we certainly can. But so everyone else is on the same page, let me go through and explain exactly what that other video covers, and then we'll talk about how to fix it. Now, this is the video that Dylan is talking about, my original tech help video, where I show you how to move up and down between the records, up and down, right? using key, the keyboard instead of having to use the mouse and click or tab, 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 tab. Now what I show in the regular version is we create two buttons, a previous and a next button with Alt P and Alt N. So you can use the keyboard to go up and down. But to in, in order to do it with the arrow keys, you have to use some programming. And I cover that in the extended cut. That's what Dylan's talking about. Now, once in a while, when I'm in a good mood, I like to sometimes share the extended cut stuff with everybody because I like to give you a little taste of what the extended cuts have, right? Maybe prompt you into joining a little temptation there for you. Yeah. Oh, hmm. okay. All right. So first, let me show you how to do this today. So you know how you can use the arrow keys left, right, up, down to go between the different fields in a continuous form, just like an Excel spreadsheet. Then Dylan will talk about how to fix your problem. So if you have not watched this video yet, go watch this. And this is going to be a developer video. What does that mean? Well, that means we are going to need some VBA programming. So if you've never done any programming before in VBA, go watch this video. It'll get you started. Everything you need to know in about 20 minutes. All right, so go watch that and then come on back. All right, so here I am in my tech help free template. This is a free database. You can download up my website if you want to. We're going to start fresh. Because the other database is about three years old, so it didn't have this cool customer list like this one with all these fields in it. All right. So normally, you use tab or shift tab to move back and forth. Or you can use the arrow keys, the left and right arrow keys. All right. Depending on how you have it set up in Access. And what do I mean by how you have it set up? Well, if you go to File, Options. If you go to Client Settings, there's an option right here that says Continuous Form Record Navigation Keys. Now, the default is None. But if you switch it to up and down and hit OK, now when you open up your continuous form like this, you can use the arrow keys. I'm going down, down, up, 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 left, right. OK, you can use them to move between the different fields. And this is fine if you want to use this. But this will now be the behavior throughout the entire database. Every continuous form you have will behave like this. OK. So if you don't want every continuous form to behave like that, then we have to use a little bit of code in order to get this effect. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back off again. File, Options, Client Settings, turn that back to None, that's the default setting. And this didn't, they didn't used to have this option, by the way, years back in different versions, um, which is when I started using the code because they didn't have this option. Then they added the option, made the code kind of obsolete, but yeah. There's still lots of benefits to doing it with code too, because you can you can trap other keys instead of just the arrow keys, but that's a whole different video. So anyways, here's how you do it. You go to your, your form, you go to design view, okay? The first thing you do is go to the form properties and come all the way to the bottom. See this property here called key preview, turn that on, set that to yes. Essentially what that does is it says, okay, the form and the forms events can intercept the keystrokes before they go to the fields on the form. Because otherwise, just the field gets it. But now we're saying, okay, the form can intercept these first. So in the form properties, under events, find the key down event. 
Where are we at? Here it is. On key down right there. Okay. This is the guy that's going to get each keystroke and do something with it. Okay. So dot, dot, dot. That'll bring up your code builder. And in here, we have the key down event. Now the key down event gets the key code. The key code is the ASCII key character of what you pressed on the keyboard. But there's some VB constants we can use. I got a whole separate lesson on the key down event. It also gets whether or not the shift controller alt keys were pressed. Okay. But we're going to say if the key code, if the key the user pressed equals VB key down, that's a special constant representing the down arrow key, then do command. What do we want to do? Go to record comma comma AC next. Go to the next record. Right? Else if, else if, I can't spell today, else if the key code equals, you guessed it, VB key up, then do command dot go to record comma comma AC previous. Right? And then end if. If it's any other key, ignore it, continue on your merry way, send the key onward to the control that you're on. And it'll, you know, if you type a four, it'll put the four in there. Okay. One more little thing we're going to do right up top. We're going to add an on error resume next, because if you're on the last record and you hit the down arrow key, it'll throw an error if it can't move to the next one. So we'll just put a little error handling in there. Okay. Now save it, give it a good debug compile, make sure everything compiles. We're going to close it, close it, open her back up again. And now we can use the arrow keys. Right. Even if that property is set to off because the key down event is intercepting our keystrokes. And again, you can use this technique with any other key on the keyboard you want. If you want to do something special when the user presses the Q, then you can do it. You can just intercept it the same way. OK, now here's the problem. If you got a notes field down here, a text field down here. Let me show you if you if you take let's take the let's steal the notes field off of the customer form. All right, we got one already here, already built, already formatted. We'll just borrow this guy. It's the same field name, same table underneath it, right? Design view. I'll click down here, paste it in. All right, so here's a notes field. Okay, long text. And let's pretend that, let's save this. Close it, open her back up again. All right, let's put some stuff in here. Let's go to Jimmy Kirk, right? All right, T is for Tiberius. I'm going to press enter. Of course, this field has the enter key is a new line in the field property set, right? Because it's a long text. Uh, we'll just say this is line two. This is line three, another line, whatever. All right. Now, if I hit the up arrow at this point, because I want to go up a line, it moves you up to the previous record. Because that key down event is intercepting the keystroke. So what we have to do is in our code say, OK, if you are in the notes field, don't do that. Or any other field, you don't want it to do it. in. And how do we do that? Well, we come over here, design view, we go back to our code. So here's the key down event or you can, I have my little buttons up here on the quick launch toolbar. This is the one for view code. I think it's on the, which one was it on? I don't know. It's one of these. I think it's over here. It's just easier to put it up here. Right? Okay. So in here, after the on error resume next, but before the keystrokes get handled, we're going to say, if I'm sitting in the notes field, don't do it. Just exit out. And that's if screen dot active control dot name equals notes then exit sub so if you are sitting in the notes field then beat it don't run this stuff okay you got it debug compile close your down close it save it change it close it whatever and now i can come up here and still do my thing but if i come up to jimmy kirk and I come down here, I can still go up and down. Look at that. See, left and right, up and down. Those keystrokes don't get intercepted. See? That's pretty neat, right? If you want to learn more about if then and if then else then, all, all that stuff, check out this video. If you want to learn more about error handling, including that on error resume next, go watch this guy. And if you like learning with me, if you have fun with my videos and you want to learn more developer type stuff, come check out the developer lessons on my website. I got tons of them, folks. I think I'm up to 45. I just finished 45, which was customizing the ribbon and making right click pop up menus. I got tons and tons of developer lessons on my website. Check it out.
stop by and say hi, leave a comment, like and share, all that good stuff. But that's going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our Diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down at the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, Level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the Tech Help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, 
there are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.